gonna try to pop on the left side Put it up in your eyes Actually got some new wetsuits and a new gun as well. So rocking the Rob Allen um, three and a half open cell. And we've got this Rob Allen carbon timberline in a 1.3. This thing's gonna be pretty killer. I've used it already on a couple trips and uh, landed my first nanny and a couple other good fish on it. But yeah, we're gonna jump in the water right now and uh, hopefully get a couple reds. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how the day goes. Santiago. This ended up being one of the best days of diving I'd had up until now. We punched out to a reef where we regularly see lots of big red emperor and mangrove jacks and straight off the bat on one of the first dives of the day one of the boys land an 80 centimeter red and we thought it was going to be pushing 10 kilos and it was very close and then just after that I managed to dive down on this rock that had another red on it and this one was around 70 centimeters. Unfortunately, not all the footage was recorded on the day and the bigger red and this massive mango <laughs> jack that I come across later didn't end up on video. <laughs> We just jumped in on a rock that had two big reds. Ricky's just shot one that we think is going to push 10 kilos and I've shot a nice 70 centimeter one. And uh, man, that was absolutely full of life. After diving a few more shallower spots, we moved out to some deeper water in around that 24 meter mark. And this is one of my favorite bommies that always has heaps of fish life from big schools of Trevally and just those little glass fish that I talked about previously. Um, and just always holds really great fish. And you can sort of see there, there's a red on it, but not quite legal. And so we let that one go. And um, wasn't too fishy on this day. There was still heaps of fish getting around, just not the ones that we were particularly after. 
but it was still good to see heaps of fish life and it's always great fun being on the bottom when you see all those fish come in. And um, I've actually recently moved over to the Rob Allen Timberline Roller and in the next couple of videos you'll see that I've been using it and it's been an absolute weapon from accuracy to the power. I landed my first largemouth lanny guy a few weeks ago and um, an absolute trophy fish and hopefully I'll get that video out to you guys soon. And uh, we continue on a few deeper rocks. This one's in around 18 to 20 meters and it's not too much fish life going on it other than the Trevally school that was following the boat. Um, but it was still great to just see those fish come in and we spent a bit of time looking around there before we went back to some shallower water where we found a few more reds. With a few nice fish in the esky, we decided to try a few different spots, places that we actually haven't been to before, and try to find some new ground that we can potentially dive for future trips. And uh, we were lucky enough to actually come across some really healthy bommies, and we ended up finding some really great fish. Ricky ended up shooting this massive tusky that just came in over 70 centimeters, and uh, that ended up being his new PB as well. And it was just great to see lots of these fish in different areas of the reef that we've been to. The rock we dove right after this one ended up having the biggest mangrove jack I've ever seen. Um, at first I thought this thing was potentially pushing 90 centimeters and potentially 10 kilos. Um, when it first came out of its cave I was completely shocked and it actually took a, a little bit of hard work to get this fish. He wasn't as easy as other mangrove jacks and a few dives later I managed to land him but unfortunately it wasn't got caught on video as my GoPro died but you can kind of see him just cruise right out of his cave in a few seconds here and this thing was absolutely monstrous. I've just managed to get myself, I think, close to 80 centimeter mangrove jack. This thing actually made us work pretty hard for it, but I pulled off a, kind of like a spine shot, I think. Not a, not a stone shot, but a spine shot. And, uh, whew, look at that. <laughs> 